Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back to the Focus SC video. I gotta shorten this intro. I've done it like five times, and I hate every single one of them because they're so long. This video is a suggested video from the user Skimpy0070. He left a comment on my last video, the Sync 3.4 video. He was like, hey, you have a Pixel. Pixels are great with USB-C, fast charging. Get this hub, bam! Didn't know this existed. He sent me a link. I'll put another link in the description uh, for a different hub. This is, I bought, uh, I bought my hub from a different link that he sent. Both of them work just fine. Gotta make sure you get the right hub that works with your Ford vehicle. You have to make sure you have Ford Sync 3.4. You have to have the, three, the Sync 3.4 update. You're gonna be replacing this right here. This is the hub you're going to be replacing. I have already replaced it once. As you can see on the side, it's a little messed up. I replaced it with the Apple certified one. I'm gonna be using two phones to demonstrate if this is actually fast charging any faster or not. This is my Galaxy um, S9. Love it, beautiful. And my daily driver, my baby, my Pixel 4 XL. Ooh, look at that face unlock, fast. I'm gonna be plugging these in here beforehand using the app called Ampere to show you what they're charging at. This app is not exactly the most accurate, but it is just a, just gonna give you little guidelines to see if it's actually charging any faster or not. So uh, your phone will probably be charging faster than what the app shows in both settings, but you know, it's just a guide. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle up. I'll plug it up and show you what we're at beforehand. So the first phone we're gonna use with this is the Galaxy S9. We're plugged in and uh, show you with the screen off at the bottom. You do see it says charging. It doesn't say charging slowly or fast. Uh, I'm not exactly, I don't remember if the, uh, Galaxy S9 actually says charging slowly, but at the bottom it just says charging. So right now we're getting a charge speed of max at 820 milliamps. We got 930 milliamps. Now we have an amp. So that's what we're getting max right now with this USB hub. As you can see, it's kind of going up and down, but max was 1050. So that's what the uh, the uh, Galaxy S9 is pulling. And let's try the Pixel. Now as you can see at the bottom, the Pixel doesn't say charging slowly. It just says charging. Um, it, it used to say charging slowly. I'm surprised it's not saying charging slowly at the moment. Maybe that's because I don't know what the reasoning is, but you can see it just says charging and it's two hours until full. So let's go ahead and open up uh, Ampere and it's going to measure that and I'll get a reading of what that one is at. So right now we have a max of 440 milliamps. So I later realized the picture was actually very warm. So that's why you see it 440 milliamps. So I did it again later on off camera and it was actually around 1050 milliamps was the max that I got for that. So let me go ahead and give you a little synopsis of how I'm going to do this because I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to record it as I do it, but it did come with these plastic tools. I'm not going to use the plastic tools. I'm just going to use my screwdriver. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the screwdriver right here in the side and just pry it down in there. I'm going to wiggle it out here. Popped it up on one side, put that in there. To the other side that was stuck down in there, I'm just gonna wiggle it out. And as you can see, bam, we're out. And there are two different plugs that we need to, oh, there's three plugs. There's three plugs. <clears throat> Dang, I really hope you can see this. There are three plugs, there we go. Three plugs at the bottom of this, I got my cable right there. Three plugs at the bottom of this that we need to go ahead and unplug and transfer over to the new USB hub. And let's do that right now. Just to show you, I didn't get a, uh, a shot of the bottom of the USB hub. This is what it looks like. So these are the three plugs you actually need to transfer over. One of them kind of looks like, the inside of that actually looks like um, mini USB. It's really interesting. I, I'm not sure if it is or not. But uh, so boom, we have these three plugs here and you have a long one and you just make sure you transfer them over to the new plug the correct way. So this is something I need to add actually here in post. As you can see, one of them I said was mini USB. You have one on the side here that's like four prongs, but the one at the top, it also should be mini USB. But with this hub, it's not. And I'll explain why later on in the video. I didn't know that at this point in time while I was filming. It does have a little clip here. Let's try to fill it right there. Just push this in and you can pop it out easily. Now for the long shaped plug, the clip is actually on the side of it. Right there, just push that in and it comes out pretty easy. The last plug here, let's go ahead and boom. That's how you gotta take this long one out to get to this one in order to take this clip off for this plug here. So the new hub is now plugged in. I remember I did say these little mini USB looking things, there's only one of them that plugs in, not two. So the gray one is the one that does not plugged in. If you go by how this originally works, you can unplug the black one without taking out the long plug here. So that gray one 
is not going to actually uh, the one that's not going to work so before i actually put this back in here i'm going to check this and see if this is actually working so the car is now back on and i do have my usb c pixel charger plug plugged into the usb c port on the new hub the um this gray one is not plugged in i have a theory as to why you don't need the gray one and i'll explain in just a second but i'm going to go ahead and turn my pixel back on and we're gonna see if this is actually working, if I can actually get a charge on it. All right, so Pixel's now back on. I actually turned it off to let it cool down just a little bit uh, because it was a little hot. This is running uh, Android uh, 11 beta or Android 11 developer preview three. So let's see, the moment of truth, plugging it in actually works. <laughs> oh, it's <that is> working. <laughs> I'm sorry, plugging it in actually works. Uh, I am getting charged and I'll go ahead and turn the screen off and it says charging rapidly. <laughs> Oh, it actually is charging rapidly. I'm so excited. Okay, so it actually is charging rapidly. Uh, it says one hour and 13 minutes. Unlike originally where it said two hours, it's charging rapidly. I'm so hyped. See, let's go ahead and open up Ampere and see what we're at. It's measuring, measuring, measuring. So it's charging a little faster. And of course, Ampere isn't exactly the uh, best way to get your... Oh, dang, it's going up. Isn't exactly the most accurate way. Oh, it's still going up. Uh, it's not the most accurate way to get it's still going up all right so we now have the galaxy plugged in and we're going to let the galaxy sit just a little bit so we can uh you know communicate with the charger it says charging down here at the bottom but it does not say uh charging fast or fast charging charging rapidly or anything so right now we're pulling 970 on the galaxy the galaxy is not charging fast galaxy s devices from what i understand galaxy s devices do use oh shoot okay Okay, so yes, we are we are getting uh, some faster charging speeds here on the Galaxy S9. We're at 1360 now, uh, and the top end on the uh, when I first plugged it in with the uh, port that I had on here before, it was a thousand and something. And now we are at top 1380 is our top here. So it's definitely charging faster uh, than originally. It's only been one minute. I've already gotten one percent and one minute down on my full charge. So it's definitely charging faster than uh, originally. Originally when my Pixel 4 XL would deplete battery, you have to like let it charge up just a little bit before you can turn it back on. It's not really that much. When you connect it to a fast charger, it works well. But in my car, I would drive all the way from where I work to home and it'd be a 30 minute drive and it still wouldn't turn on. So I'm hoping that this actually changes that. So Android Auto is in fact working as you can see here, plugged into here, plugged into here. And look, let's open up Ampere again. Look at this, plugged in, I'm already at my, my max speeds that I was getting before, to, my max was uh, 2380. Yeah, this is definitely charging the phone faster. And right here, as you can see, uh, if my always on, oh, my always on display is not gonna come back up, hold up. See, charging rapidly, one hour and 13 minutes until full. So this is definitely charging faster, I'm loving it. So this is why I think that you only use two plugs instead of three like you do on the original port in the car. So as you can see here, there is a USB down here from this hub here it's all connected so these two these two little mini usb port looking things here that plug into the hub one is for one port here and the other one goes to this port here now this port this hub has two ports so you don't actually have that one that plugs from the back of the hub all the way to the front port that's up here that's my hypothesis i'm pretty sure it's correct and that's why you will now with this hub only have two plugs plugged into the back side of it and not three and this port will not work so here is in fact a shot of the hub installed correctly put in there correctly and you do have a little bit of a glow i like that little blue hue that's right there so yes that's it thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video i can't i'm so excited to have usb-c i'm so excited i'm gone